What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 5 of our data analysis with Python and Pandas tutorial series. In this video what we're going to be talking about is combining uh, data frames and we're going to cover the first two major ways and then in the next tutorial we'll cover two more. Uh, the first two that we're going to cover here is concatenating and appending data frames. So uh, with that, let's just go ahead and hop into it. So first of all, we're going to, of course, need to import pandas as PD. Uh, but I'm also going to save us like five minutes probably of writing. Uh, and there will be a link in the description for you guys to go to the text-based version of this tutorial. Go there, and if you want, of course, you can always follow along the text versions and skip the video or vice versa or whatever. Uh, but at least for now, what I'm going to do is just have us copy and paste from there. Uh, these three data frames that'll just save us time from writing them. There's really no nothing to be gained by us uh, writing all this out. So anyway, uh, I will just point out though that there are two major you know differences between all of these data frames. So data frame one and three, they have the same index, but they have different columns. Okay, so uh, one and three, they don't share this third column. Okay, df two and three have different indexes, but they share the same, um, well actually they also have deferring columns. So they have different indexes and uh, different columns. Now with, concaten with concatenation, we can talk about really, um, there's a really multiple things that we do with concatenation, but first we'll just do a really simple concatenation. So uh, we'll say concat equals pd.concat and we'll concatenate, you can concatenate a list. In theory, we could do DF1, 2, and 3, but let's just do DF1 and DF2 first. And then we'll print out concat. This will just print out that result. So what we get is this result here. So that was DF1 plus DF2. Well, DF1 and 2 had the identical uh, columns, right? So that was just a continuation of the index. Uh, so they become a single data frame. But in our case, what we're interested maybe in doing is adding columns, right, instead of, instead of rows. And with like our real estate example, that's exactly what we want to do. We, we'll have a similar index, the date index, but instead what we're going to have is by date, it'll be the index, but then each column will be the housing price index for each state, right, because that's our goal. So uh, that's what we're going to cover here. And the way that we're going to do that, let's close this out. Like what if now, instead of concat df1, df2, what if we add uh, df3 and print concat? Now what we're left with here is some not in numbers because the data didn't exist for that, uh, that index in theory. But if you look, we have two 2001s, two and three and four. What would have been nice is if these values here were populated right here, right? And as NANDs, because they could be. And you'll see, too, that they could easily go there because also the other values, 80, 85, 88, and 85, 80, 85, 88, and 85, right? All the other values could have gone in there just fine. But with concatenation, that's not really going to work. So those are the, that's the basic of, you know, coverage of concatenation. What it's doing is it's going to add to the bottom and it's not necessarily going to do it very intuitively. So we'll close out of this. The next thing we're going to cover is appending. So what if, I'm just going to delete these, but you can leave them there for your notes or whatever. What if we said df4 equals df1 dot, uh, and we'll do dot append df2. So what we do with appending is it's just like appending a file or whatever, it just adds to the end. Okay, so what that's going to do for us is add to the very end, and because the indexes aren't identical, right, this adds to this index, that should work as we might expect. So now we'll print EF4, run that, and there you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and all the information is there, no not a numbers, no repeating of datas, uh, data columns, and so on. So uh, one thing to note with append, though, is, is really append data frames aren't meant to be updated. Uh, up, they're meant to be manipulated and maybe make new columns based on existing data, but they're not really meant to have new data input into them. So it's a, a pandas data frame is not a database or a table in a database. Okay, so if that's what you want to do, you need a table in a database. Uh, pandas is meant just purely for data manipulation and analysis, although you can append to it, it's just not going to be very efficient. 
Um, so anyways, uh, there is that. Now what happens if instead of df1 dot append df2, what if we append df3? They share the same index. Uh, and they have mostly the same columns, but they do have deferring columns. Well, that's not exactly <laughs> the best thing, and that's very similar to what happened with concatenate uh, as well. So they concatenate and append are useful, okay, but you just you can't do everything with concatenation and appending. Now, the one thing that you can do, like for example, is like we could add a series. So like we could get rid of this and we could say s for series equals pd.series. And then in here, you add some data for that series, like maybe an 80, a 2, and a 50. Okay, so that makes a panda series. And then what you could say is df4 equals df1.append s. And we might have to say ignore index. I think it'll still give us an index. So let's say ignore index equals true. And then print df4. <laughs> that didn't quite look how we wanted. Okay, let's give a name um, to the series. So s equals pd.series. This is your series. And then what we're going to say is uh, index equals and then this will be a list of three things, and that'll be HPI, interest rate, and USGDP. So HPI, copy paste, copy, whoops, <laughs> copy paste, and copy paste. All right, try that one more time. There we go. So what happened was this right here is DF1, and then this stuff is the series information, 82 and 50, right? And then we appended that to the end. Again, that's not super efficient. But if you want to do it, you can do it. And that's how. So anyways, that is concatenating and appending. And what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial is talking about joining and merging data frames. Now, this is more likely to suit our purposes. Uh, but that's not to say that concatenating and appending isn't useful. Uh, they just have different reasons why you might actually do it. We're more interested in adding columns and then also sharing possibly an index and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be covering in the next tutorial. If you do have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.